Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Twilight Princess 5 Heart Run. I mean 3 Heart Run. This is Izgushi. This is Dapple Snap a lot. And that was a failed Monty Python and the Holy Grail reference. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should put that Limp Bizkit song up there. The rolling one. Keep on rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. I keep rolling. Uh, I don't even know why I like that song so much. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna get your ass handed to you again. No, I won't, because I've got heavy boots. Bam. You couldn't see it because of the camera angle, but he does like, he wipes his hands off. He'll do it on all the other ones. And you can see it clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Those are people you're throwing. It's okay, it's not like I'm throwing them into lava or anything. Oh wait, I do that to the mini boss. I think VH1 named that song the, the Rollin' One by Limp Bizkit. They named it the third most awesomely bad song of all time. And I'm not saying it's a good song, it's very much a guilty pleasure. Fun fact, putting an item in your backpack doesn't make them lighter. Unless it's a bag of holding. Oh yeah. That's always weird how um, whenever you do like water temples with the iron boots. If you have the iron boots on you, you'd sink no matter whether you're wearing them or not. But then again, he doesn't really, uh... In this game, it might actually be justified. Because you never see him actually, like, put on his boots. Well, you never did. Um... Serpentine! Serpentine! Quick name, what movie that's in. An episode of Metalocalypse? No, it's from an actual movie. Oh. If anyone in the comments can tell me what movie that's from, you win... A free t-shirt when we get around to making them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just, you know, remind us. And a shout-out in the next video that I record after this gets posted, which will probably be after Goron Mines. It'll be the first one after Goron Mines, unless no one answers, which is entirely a, a, a possibility. Am I allowed to answer? No. Everyone's just gonna go on IMDB and search for it anyway. So you don't get the free t-shirt, you just get a shout-out, and I will say that you used IMDB whether you did or not. You bastard. So this part, you really just want to sort of run around for a while, and dodge the rocks. Now this actually, I kind of got stuck on the first time through the game. Not like this part, but later on. You need to find something really hot. I didn't know what to look for. Because I thought that was just like a rock. <laughs> and that guy punched me. And I just thought it was a rock. Turns out it's a really hot rock. And if you actually touch it, you get hurt. Maybe so much as touch it. It's too hot to handle. But yeah, it's a it's a hot rock. Hot rocks. Who did that song? That wasn't Chili Peppers. No, it wasn't. Pretty sure there's a song called Hot Rocks. I don't know. I'll look it up. If you put that in the comments, it won't matter because I'll have looked it up. <laughs> Keep on rolling. <laughs> They don't explicitly say that Link doesn't have a bag of holding, though, so... Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that. Because <clears throat> you never actually see him put it on. Uh, you hit the button and they just sort of... He, like, does a jump and they appear on his feet. It happened in uh, Wind Waker, too. 
But in this game, it could be explained as Midna turning them into uh, Omnigel, like you said before. Yes. Or sending them to her Twilight Bag of Holding. Well, I guess it's, it's kind of justified in this game. By the way, the whole Omnigel thing and how we were discussing if it wasn't two or not, that was Mass Effect, by the way. Link doesn't care about the go arounds. He thinks they're dirty people, that's why he wipes his hand after touching them. Link is a racist, but not as racist as Mario. Actually, Link's not that bad. He actually is fighting people that are trying to displace these people and make them dead. Well, right now it's just one of those things where, like, he has to do what he has to do. Also, if you don't uh, put on iron boots before coming in here, you don't have a chance to before the sumo game, so he'll fail automatically. So I, I just put him on before I walked in to save some time. It's funny how he can still walk at normal speed in cutscenes, though. He's still very clanky, but he can walk at normal speed. That smile is just so funny. So I believe this sumo does not go nearly as well as the first two. That guy's really hard nipples. They're rock nipples. They're rock hard. I'm not gonna take your shirt off for this one, Link. But he's gonna show us up his dress. Time for some hot Goron and Hillian action. It's illegal in some states. Do you think they charged admission for this? You can bet on it. I'm gonna put my money on the Goron. Okay. I put my money on Link. I'm put two rupees on it. Alright. Do I get like... Do I get two to one odds or something? Sure. Alright. I feel like they're not the same weight class though. Yeah, that's why... That's why I get two to one odds. I mean, he is wearing heavy boots though. Which means he can be on the moon and beat Majora's Mask. Yeah, this didn't go nearly as smoothly as the other ones. Oh, pay up! Pay up! Four rupees! There you go. Go to India, get four rupees, and give them to me. It's okay, it's okay. I broke, I broke some pots on the way here. So I got some. I broke like three pots and pulled up some flowers and it turned out okay. So, uh, next video... Goron Mines. I probably should have said that a few seconds later. There's still about 20 seconds left. It's pretty cool how they, they slide aside. So much faster than King Zora. Yep. 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 Weak. 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 Weak.
Thank you.